This video is going to cover how to use the splash screens action that goes with the web app. So, in your download, you're going to get something that looks like this. It's going to say splashscreens.atn. You're going to want to double click that, and it will automatically open up inside Photoshop. So, first, go to step one, come down here, and press play. You need to select layer zero, fill the background color with your preferred background color. Then when that's done, run step two. So this background color is just going to be the backdrop for your logo. So you could either have a color that will contrast your logo, you could have a dark background or a light background. For this example, I'm going to use a blue background color. So the way that you do that is you come over here to the ellipsis, and you're going to want to right click that and then come down to the paint bucket tool. So you select that. Then come over here and select the color that you want. Now make sure that layer 0 is selected and then just click anywhere inside the box. Now without clicking anything else, we're going to go to step 2 and then click play. Now in this step we're going to place our logo, so go to file, then place embedded, then find your logo. And you're going to want to make sure that it's at least 1,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. It can be bigger, but if it's smaller, then it's going to get a little bit stretched out. So I have my logo selected. I'm going to place it, and then make sure that you hit enter, or you can come up here and click the check mark. Now we're supposed to go to step three and click play. Alright, so now we're on the final step. All we have to do is click final step. Now that the splash screens have been generated, we're going to come over here and make sure that all of them are set to be visible. Then select all the layers, then right click and come up to export as. Then you're going to want to make sure it's set to PNG you can choose smaller file if you'd like. Uh, it will just make the image a little bit lower quality. Um, so I'm going to toggle that off. Then come down here and make sure that convert to RSGB is selected. Now click export all. Select the folder. So I'm going to make a new folder and type splash screen images. So now that that folder is selected, I'm just going to click export and then the folder that they were exported to will automatically open and here are all the splash screen images